Hey everybody, this is Eric Brady with Seattle Sound Home Inspections. Just doing a little um, tutorial here on how gas furnaces start up. So once you kind of understand, this looks like kind of chaos here when you look under the cover. Once you kind of understand the basic concepts, there's really, uh, it's a very simple system. It's essentially a fancy barbecue. And um, usually what happens with these furnaces is you have a gas shutoff valve and that shuts off the flow of gas into the furnace you have an electrical shutoff switch. Um, not all eras of homes with gas furnaces have these switches. Almost all of them have a gas uh, shutoff. But if you don't have a gas shutoff, then out at your gas meter, you'll have a gas shutoff. And uh, that's always there because the gas company, if you don't pay your bill, is going to lock you out. So they need to have a valve for that. So anyways, it's always good to know where your gas shutoffs are in your house. Uh, how these furnaces typically work is you have what's called a hot surface igniter and I'm gonna go ahead and cycle this furnace so you can see the process once I've explained it you have a hot surface igniter that when the furnace gets turned on it glows red you have an induction fan that's actually the first thing that happens the induction fan turns on and this spins here and that sucks air in through these holes and spits it out up here in the uh, chimney essentially um, and then the hot surface igniter turns hot and then a set amount of time this is a uh, computer controlled gas valve and this gas valve opens allows gas to come down through this pipe come out through these orifices uh, and into the burners this is a small furnace it has three burners uh, I've seen furnaces with 16 burners but that's in like an 8,000 square foot house. So anyways, uh, typically they're kind of three to eight is typical range. So, uh, but it's all pretty much laid out like this. Some of the things that can go wrong here um, are the hot, surf hot surface igniter can go bad. The flame sensor can go bad, which is right here connected to this wire. Um, and these are the pressure switches here and here. Those can go bad. Um, it's a little bit complicated what those do, but those can be replaced. You can actually see that those have been replaced. They're newer than the rest of the furnace. We just replaced the flame sensor in this one. The hot surface igniter, as far as I know, is original. So, uh, And if it ain't broke, uh, no reason to fix it. So let's go ahead and fire this off, and you can see what the ignition sequence looks like. So there's the induction fan coming on. And if you were to go put your hand over a register, you would not feel any air moving at this time. There's an induction fan here, and in the compartment either above or below is what's called um, the house fan. And the house fan is what actually blows air in and out of your heat ex your uh, registers in your room. So we're going to start seeing the hot surface igniter glow here in a second. There it goes. See the orangey glow there? And then that's the switch of the, there'll be a, um, there, there you go, there's the flame. So the blue flames, you heard the switch there before, it was actually the um, gas valve opening. And it has a test period. And it's about this long now. You can see the flame sensor there, that small little wire that's down close to the flame. Um, if that does not register heat after a certain amount of time, the valve will close and the furnace will go turn off. Most furnaces will then attempt to relight um, based on a timer three times. When you get to the third time and you don't detect flame, then the furnace goes into a fault mode and it will not attempt to light for another half hour, hour, something along those lines. Depends on the brand. This one lit and stayed lit. If you're having a furnace that's lighting, and then turning off and then relighting. A lot of times people don't realize this, but what happens is you just don't get the heat as quickly as you expect because there's time in there. So it can be good to just kind of turn on your furnace and stand by it and listen for these sounds and look for the glow plug and look for the flame to start.